there was no plan at the very beginning of where we're we gonna build these, how are they gonna get built, what goes into them, what do they look like, how big are they? One of the first calls I made after our first consultant talked to us was to Don Freeman at Ferguson Electric. First of all, I wanted to know if I was, he thought I was crazy. And he said, no, I don't think you're crazy, but there's a lot to this. Just like electric cars help to reduce emissions on our highways and byways, the Maid of the Mist has a brand new emissions-free fleet of electric boats. And in this case, electricity and water do mix, thanks to the NECA IBEW Powering America team. This gorge with Niagara Falls is one of the most magnificent places in the world. And to experience it personally and to be part of the next generation, to show it to people from all over the world, is, it's, it's very exciting. 167 foot twin falls with more than 3,000 tons of rushing rapids tumbling over every second. Thrill seeking passengers aboard the Maid of the Mist have been taking the 20 minute boat ride to get up close and personal with this world wonder for more than 175 years. Standing on deck, you're quickly overcome with just how small nature can make you feel. The boat over here behind us, made in this number seven, uh, it's about 20 years old and has diesel powered engines, two rudders and, and uh, shafts and propellers and they, it's a lot louder, there's a lot more vibration. On these boats, we move away from dock, we can move away silently, we can move away sideways because of the kind of propellers that we have on the boat now. Closer to nature, you can hear the birds, you can hear the falls without any noise. I think people uh, find that very fascinating to see us charging the boats. We literally plug them in for seven minutes after each voyage up to the falls. You can hear some of the power going and they can control that off in the pilot house, the touch screen. Seven minutes to charge? For a 74 ton, 300 person capacity boat, seven minutes? By comparison, your average electric vehicle's charging time is measured in days, not hours, and certainly not less than 10 minutes. And even though most of the crew hadn't wired a boat before, for these guys, power is power. I have never built a boat. When we started here, this boat was coming down the gorge in pieces. First step was to set up temporary power for the site, get everything ready for the welding contractors so that they could start welding the sections together. As they lowered each section of the boat down the gorge, we had to install all the electrical equipment into the boat, all the stuff that was too big to fit, uh, basically through these hatches in the floor. There's these small little blocks that individually isolate each wire and those are not the easiest to get in. I lose count of exactly how many there were because there were plenty of them, but I spent probably close to two to three months isolating all of the wires and everything has to be 100% correct. When you walk by the pilot house where the captains are and they're actually driving it, everything that they're touching and moving around, I pretty much wired up. The steering controls and the speed, the throttle, all that. It's pretty cool to be in there and see it. I worked on the boats for eight months and I never got to ride on them and today is gonna to be my first ride. Really can't hear much else besides just the water rushing over the falls and pretty incredible being up, up close to it. Uh, I thought the ride was amazing. I'm glad I finally got to go on a ride. Couldn't be happier. Ferguson Electric has been an IBW employer since its beginning in 1935. We're a very strong partner locally and nationally with NECA and the IBW and we would never consider any other way. 10, 15 minutes away my whole life. Western New York born and raised, so honestly I take it for granted that it's, it's in my backyard. Definitely cool to be a part of it and have my name on it somewhere that I helped build it. Thousands of people from all around the world come here and get to enjoy it. The Maid of the Mist always has challenges for us. Every year there's some project that they envision and we have to figure out how to make it work. 
and we hope that our relationship just lasts for generations. Working with Ferguson Electric, it's a great experience. There isn't another project like this. There isn't another boat that is of this size in North America. The boats are very quiet, no engine noise, no exhaust fumes, no vibration. It's really spectacular. For Electric TV, in Niagara Falls, I'm Erica McClarity.